Hello everyone and welcome to Hall of Fame episode Luna. Now, before I get into today's episode, a couple of things. I've provided timestamps so you can just jump forward to the section that interests me the most. Also, I go into detail about each and every album in their respective videos so you can check their playlist if you want to hear my thought on the entire discography in details. Today is all about favorites in terms of album songs, biases, and all that good stuff. Now, when it comes to Luna, I've been really just having a great time checking out their discography. The main thing I love Luna for is just their uniqueness. I feel like they created their own lane in an industry where you know, there's just so many groups right now. And I feel like the only way to really stand out is to do your own thing. And that's exactly what Luna does. They have a very interesting sound. They are always pushing boundaries with their music. And, you know, there was there was never a point where I felt like a Luna album was boring. Never. And that's because they always try different things, you know. Of course, you, they have divisive uh, songs out there, but that's just because they're always experimenting and, you know, it's not always going to go in a direction where everybody is going to be okay with that. But I'd rather have an artist that I love experiment than that same artist giving me the same concept over and over again just because they're good at it. What I love about Luna is the fact that they are risk takers. They try different things. They have a unique sound. They have a way of making genres that you've heard before their own. And every single Luna song is something special. They really are the only one that can truly deliver that Luna spirit. Even if somebody were to cover the song today, they will never be able to give you that exact Luna feel because... The 12 of them are so amazing that it's their particular chemistry, what each of them bring the, to the table that creates that unique Luna song. And I just loved every moment on this journey. Um, there were some albums where I felt like I was on the fence. There were other albums that I'm crazy about i loved just the way they went about debuting and having all the girls having their moment before getting that group album what it did for me is allow me to really get to know every single member see what their own interpretation of their music is what is their vision, what type of vibe that they go for, and then now get Luna, the complete group. It's, it was such an amazing experience, and it was very unique. And I feel like having gone through all this journey has just made me respect them even more because I feel like they bring something that is really needed today. We need Luna um, because... Luna is the type of artist that is always going to be relevant. Why? Because they are always going to bring something new. You never know what to get to you are going to get with them. And what I really love about Luna is they have all the component that you've seen every day, but because of the way they sing, the way they rap, the, the way they just do everything. They make something that you've seen before so unique. And now you have a Luna ballad be something completely different than what you used to from ballads, for example. And I just love that about them, that they have, they have created their own genre, in my opinion. And I love everything Luna, whether it be slower songs, anthems, pop-centric songs. I just love everything Luna because it's always a great time listening to their music. When it comes to biases... I have three main biases and a bias breaker. So my main biases are Kim Lip Chu and Eve. 
I love the three of them. I've been really impressed. Um, Kim Lip, I fell in love while I was still checking out their solo single albums. Her voice, the music that she does. And then the more I just dove into Luna's music and every time I hear her, I'm happy. I just love her energy. I love her vibe and I've just gravitated towards her from the very beginning um, to someone that is such a ray of sunshine. I love just her energy. She's the type of person that is just so easy to love. And now that I've checked out like edits and different things about her, even her personality is just so endearing. And then you have Eve, which is another member where I just, I am just so attached to her and I just love her vibe. And then my bias striker would be go on. I really um just like her a lot. <laughs> like I'm trying to find proper words to truly just express how much I enjoy just her vibe a voice, everything about her. And regardless of who are biased in the group, Luna as a whole are super talented. They are amazing. It's just that I tend to gravitate towards the four of them most of the time. Now, when it comes to my favorite albums, I would say that number one is definitely End. I feel like it's their best album. It's so good. The vocals, the vibe, the energy, the beats, like everything just came together really well in that one. Number two would be Midnight. Oh, this album just is amazing. I love it. It's the album where I feel like their sound came to the ultimate peak. Like, where they are today is just a result of everything <laughs> coming from Midnight. I love that album. It's amazing. The songs are insane. And Luna did not come to play with that one. And then in third place, it would be XX because this is another really good album. It's just number three because I love one and two just a little bit more than that one. Now, when it comes to my ultimate Luna playlist, it has nine songs on there. Those are my nine favorite Luna songs of all time. Now, before I play those songs, I just want to say that um, this video is just about celebrating favorites. And sometimes when I listen to songs that I really love, I love to sing along. I will mess up the lyrics. I will. I don't have the best voice out there. I just want to have fun. I want to listen to Luna. So if you hear me in the background, I will try to fix it later on. But if I can, oh well, you know, let's all have fun. Now, number nine is Hide and Seek. <laughs>
Number eight is a universe.
Number six is nine. Ay, 뜨거워진 열기. Ay, 멈춰질래 windy. You know, you know, you know, you know. Hey, 원래 그런 거야. Hey, 오를수록 숨차. You know, you know. Come on. 
Number five is number one. Number four is wow.
Number three is stylish. Go, go, 
Number one in their discography is Dance on My Own. That was my favorite Luna song of all time. I love the song. It's the best they ever put out. And I don't know when they are going to be able to top that for me. But right now, the queen of Luna's discography is Dance On My Own. Let me know in the comments what your favorite song and album are and who's your bias or your bias line. How did you fall in love with Luna and all that good stuff? That's it for me today. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe.